Moin, this is Timo. Welcome to my vlog. I want to build the Floponium. There are a couple of videos out there already on YouTube uh, where guys build huge machineries using floppy scanners and other devices with step motors to create music. And I want to do a similar thing but a bit more compact. Maybe even as 19 inch device so you can use it as live instrument with real MIDI port. I want to do this in form of a diary so whenever I work on something on a day I will make a short video out of it and upload it here for you on YouTube. So this is day one. Today I worked a bit on the software side of things. I created two classes, one that represents a floppy drive and controls its stepper and another one that represents a floponium which consists of multiple floppy drives. Let's dive right into the code. As you can see I'm using MicroPython here to make things easy and let's just browse through my code. This is the class floponium. It manages a number of floppies. You can add with this function here and it manages two lists. One that holds the indices of currently free floppies, able to play new notes and another list of already playing floppies. So we don't need to care which floppy is currently playing and which is not. So we just can fire a note commands to the floponium and it does its thing. The floponium is made of multiple floppy drives. So if you want to have eight voices, you need to add eight floppies and so on. The floppy class represents a single floppy drive. For example, it operates its stepper using the right frequency. We need to consider one thing. Um, the floppy drive has just a limited range where the stepper can move. So we need to take care if the stepper reaches the end that we change direction. The floppy drive has a special pin for that. You just need to send low or high to this and then you choose the direction for it. So I'm using two pins for each floppy drive. One to control the step motor and one to control the direction change. To control the tone height I just need to create a hardware PWM channel and set the frequency accordingly. To change the direction it's a bit more complicated since we need to count the pulses. So what I'm doing here is I just create an interrupt on the same pin as the PWN channel. And here in my callback routine I'm just counting the cycles. Whenever the counter reaches the maximum number defined up here um, it just toggles the direction. Okay, so let's do a very simple test to see how things work out and how reliable the direction changes. I'm creating a floppy here on pins 0 and 1. I'm enabling the direction change and set a frequency to 8k. Okay, I connected the first two pins of the Raspberry Pi Pico to the oscilloscope. Let's see what we get there. On channel 1 of the oscilloscope we can see now the PWM signal coming from the Raspberry Pi Pico, pin 0. And um, when I switch on channel 2 we can see the direction change. This is maybe a bit too fast so we need to switch to single mode and zoom out a bit and get some single images. And we can see that all four cycles the direction changes. And this seems to be pretty reliable. When I create a couple of images here, it's always four cycles, even though it's a more or less high frequency. Okay, I guess for day one, this is a pretty good start to work with. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. <laughs>